we knew we could have been killed. We, were, we realized that. Could have been. Uh, but regardless of what happened, we were going to stay nonviolent, regardless. And we were going to jail. Because there have been rumors that, you know, you're in jail, Iraq, you, know, you know, you don't leave. You know, people come in at night and kidnap you, hang you. You know, those type of things happen uh, all over the country during that time. So if your black man was arrested, you don't know if you would see sunrise or not. Really, a 17-year-old is not very much afraid of anything because he have not had the experience and the wisdom <laughs> to be afraid. It takes wisdom to be afraid now. In February of 1960, Friendship, they did a demonstration there, and my sister was there. And they was part of it. And, you know, it piqued my interest. But like I say, a lot of things that happened growing up, you know, you see the injustice and stuff like that. But, like, you never, it was only, you couldn't say too much. We came in, and, well, I shouldn't say we came in, uh, the other guys came in and, and they jumped in. They, they got involved. I didn't. Uh, I was hesitant about it. Uh, not fearful, but I didn't have time for it. I didn't think that it was a, a worthwhile thing to do. We would have study periods. Like, that's how we, I think we got close because Robert was, we call him the brain. So if something happened in class and we didn't get it, all we actually, like the teacher go across the boat, do, 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 and come back and raise it. And we look at him, and then we look at Robert. Robert said, I got it. So we let him teach it to us. Robert was persistent. He said, come on, man, you've got to do this. You know, you got to listen, stay. Come on and go with me again. And I tried to think of what I had to do that would prevent me from going. And uh, it just wasn't there. And I said, OK, man, you got me. So I went in. And Gaither was saying, okay, guys, we have selected a date that we are going to uh, put our nonviolent uh, protests to action. Uh, it's not just going to be sitting on the stools and then leaving when the people tell you to leave. It's going to be sitting and refusing to leave. That was January 31st, 1961. Went into McCrory's and sat down. I never forget. I couldn't have been in my seat no more than 30, 40 seconds. And as soon as we hit the stool, boom! I said the shoulders grabbed me and pushed me on on the floor, and I was literally dragged out of the store. When he came up with the hundred dollar fine in 30 days, we said we take 30 days. That kind of surprised him, I think. But anyway, we had to do the 30 days on the, uh, the Yaw County chain gang. But and during the 30 days, something surprised me most were the uh, black inmates. They supported us. We thought they'd be, you know, you know, they supported us. Actually, if we wanted anything, let us let them know. And they slipped a little food to us they weren't supposed to get and whatnot, and they tried to be good to us. And I was amazed and surprised at that. John Gaines, who was asthmatic, had an attack one day and uh, collapsed and uh, couldn't work. So they took him, supposed to the, the dispensary, but they wouldn't tell him where he was. And we asked to see him, they wouldn't. So we decided we weren't going to work then until they produced him, showed him he was okay. So we in fact protested in prison. So that meant uh, three days in solitary confinement uh, on bread and water. Uh, we took sips out of the water, but never touched the bread. One of the prisoners slipped us a baby roof candy bar. And those days, the candy bars were, oh, twice the size they are now. Thank God for that. And there was a couple inches of space in one of the Sat at the, the bottom of the uh, door, and that candy bar was slipped under the door, and we broke it into nine pieces, and that's what we ate those three days. And you thought like you could taste steak, chicken, any kind of food you want to taste, you can taste. 
we became men while we were in jail. We grew mentally, physically, we did. We, we, we uh, experienced a lot that in a short period, we had to grow up and we, we did. And it tests our strength, what you know we, we can't, our limitations, you know. So when I, when I, when I left there, I, I felt invincible, you know. Ain't doing a thing, and I would've did. It was looked upon something that had to be done, something that had to happen, something that to show us that we also matters. 